Hello and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a sh card to show you using the lovely you. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. And let's see. So I got a Bermuda piece of Bermuda Bay that's eight and a half by eleven, or five and a half by eight and a half that I'm just gonna fold in half. And then I am going to set that aside, set that aside, and I'm going to work on this piece of white, basic white. And then let's see, I'm going to get that out, that out, that one out. that out, that out, and I think I'm going to use the Wildly Grateful, which I don't think I've used yet, or maybe I have. Just because, smile. Where did it go? Wildly grateful. Oh, I guess I have used it. Maybe I will trust me you are lovely. I'll use that one. So. We'll get that one on there. Okay, and the one thing now that you can't do like you used to be able to do when you put these is don't fold that all the way over. Keep like your finger in between while you're trying to pull that that back, otherwise they stick on each other. All right. I'm going to use that sentiment last. I really don't need big blocks for anything. And so I'm going to put this across the middle. And all I'm going to be doing is some stamping. Um, I'm going to get my granny apple green out, but I'm also going to get my granny apple marker and my Bermuda Bay marker. And there's reason behind this, and that's because these flowers are on here together. So I'm going to take my markers and I'm going to um, Color, color the stamps with the markers. And this allows me to get my two-tone business going on. Like that. So, and then, oh, this one I have to do up as well. Look at that. But I thought it was such a magical world to figure out when I first 
got into stamping that you can two-tone stamp quite easily. I was, was trying to figure out how to do it with pads and then somebody showed me markers and I went, oh, and I invested in a ton of markers. one there and if you take a really long time while you color these um, you might want to huff on the on the uh, stamp so that if the ink is slightly drying it won't be dry when you stamp so you just put it up to your mouth give it just a just a tiny little huff. Now it makes me sound like a druggie. All right. Get one right in here. Do another one. Like so I think I can put these away. I'll move on with my other ones. Granny Apple. So a lot of this will be covered up by my center fugal point. So this will just come in and cover cover all that up so we don't have to worry about things showing up. And I don't have to do any masking. I mean that's another pretty thing here. Alright, next thing is Bermuda Bay. Put Granny Apple away. And I'm just going to make these into flowers. So, and then just add a flower to here. Let's see. And one right there. Call that good. And then we're just about ready for assembly except I want to put my sentiment here. Trust me, you are lovely. So I'm going to take that Absolutely. All right. We're 
coming up with ideas, which is kind of on the fly here. All right. I need to clean this since I want to use it. Okay. So, let me set this aside. Making room. Stamp that. This is with your Versamark. And that. And I think in addition, I'm going to do that little flower. Let me clean it. All right. Close my ink. All right, so with some white embossing powder, I've just sprinkled over the top, flicked a little too much off those ones. And I'm going to take this good thing I've got more white somewhere it's running low okay and then I'm gonna heat set this with a heat gun and you'll know it's it's set because It'll kind of go a shiny color, and the pieces will all kind of blend together. All right, and then my thought had been... grab my Stampin' Bloods and all I'm going to do is just color very smoothly over and make my flower blue like so. The beauty of Stampin' Blends This is great when you're on black because nobody can see where you messed up. Okay, but yeah, that's that's one of the benefits of these alcohol markers is that you can do things like that and color it. All right, but now we're we're down to assembly. Clear off some more workspace. Gonna get my adhesive. Glue, glue. Trust me, you are lovely. Okay, and then we're going to do a couple more things. We're going to embellish and get my little, my little rhinestones out. 
Okay. I'm just going to put a few on. Oops. If I can find my take a pick tool here. Oops. Running out of workspace. I'll put my first mark. So I got my take a pick tool. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out and then back it off. And I'll come in, grab a rhinestone. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to do it. can't leave the other flower out. So there you have it. And you can make this as fancy or l less fancy as you so should choose. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching my video. If you would like any of the products I have demonstrated on this video, um, below is a shopping list as well as you can as well as a link to my online store which you can purchase these things that will help bring more creative videos to you um, as well as if you check out my website bigskycards.com you will find card kits where you only need to provide the liquid glue for and or card kits that you would need for this example this one would you would need the stamp set and the inks, but everything's cut ready for you to go to put it together. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can please leave them in the comments as well as, you know, happy comments are always welcome. And you can also email me at bigskycardsnicole at gmail.com. And thank you so much for watching. Happy stamping. Bye.